To ensure that enough wheat is available and at a reasonable price, the government has imposed stock limits till FY25 on wheat wholesalers, retailers and processors, effective from 24th of June in a bid to crack down on hoarders and speculators and ensure price stability. The permitted stock holding limit is notified at 3,000 tons for wholesalers, 10 tons if you are a retailer and 10 tons for each outlet and 3,000 tons at all depots for big chain retailers. Also, 70% of monthly install capacity multiplied by the remaining months of the current financial year in case of processors. So there are very stringent numbers that have come across. The food secretary said that the decision is taken amid rumours of country not having adequate wheat. The government estimates uh, wheat production for 2024-25 at 112 million tonnes, even as the industry puts it at best at 105 million tonnes. So there is a big gap when it comes to industry and the government estimates of wheat for the current year. Well, as per the government numbers, the opening stock of wheat was 8.2 million tonnes on 1st of April 2023, which is higher than 7.5 million tonnes on 1st of April 2023. The government has procured 26.6 million tons this season against 26.2 million tons procured in the last season. If you look at the annual requirement of wheat for the country and for the National Food Security Act and other various welfare schemes, it is estimated at 18.4 million tons and the closing stock in that sense on 31st March 2025 is forecast to be 15.7 million tons. Valinda is the second largest producer and consumer of wheat and this is after China. Remember, India banned wheat exports in 2022 after the output was curtailed due to a heat wave and that has continued to be the policy even now with expectations that you wouldn't perhaps see it open this year as well.